It's Friday. It's weigh-in day for JC's puppies. This will be our last weigh-in until January 25th when they go to the vet. We just want to continue to see how their progress is doing. And then we'll be able to uh, just wait till the vet checks them all over on the 25th of January. So our first puppy here is... Pink. Is Pink Girl. Is she awesome? It's getting so much bigger than they were last week. So how big is Pink Girl? Carol, you want to tell us? Let's see how much you weigh today. You are one pound 14 ounces. One pound 14 ounces. Nice. All right. Who's our next victim here? Let's do Olive. Olive, girl. Do olive. Let's see. This is Olive. She's the feisty one. Another Olive. There. Olive leaves. One pound seven ounces. One pound seven ounces. That's awesome. Who's next? We need pink or purple girl. Purple girl. Here's purple girl. She's getting a lot bigger also. What do you weigh now? One pound about one pound four ounces. One pound. They're the smallest one. Yeah, so far. Here's light blue boy. Light blue boy. Light blue boy. There he is. Ready to get weighed. Are you ready there, pal? Get on the scale. And it says two pounds. Wow, two pounds. About two pounds one ounce. Two pounds one ounce. I must have been chowing down on that food this morning. Okay, and then we got dark blue boy. And dark blue boy. Here's dark blue boy. Let's see from the strength. Yep. Okay, what do you weigh there, buddy? You weigh. Dark Blue Boy weighs. One pound 14 ounces. One pound 14 ounces. The so light blue is the biggest. By next Friday, they won't be able to stand on that scale. They're going to want to jump off. So we'll just have to wait till the vet does it. And now we can watch them play. Yep. Here they are. And uh, remember, time now here. Three weeks from bringing your puppy home. So if we place one of these in your home, time to go get your supplies, your crates, your collars, your your food, your leash. Harnesses. harnesses. Yep, harnesses. These guys are currently eating Purina Pro Plan puppy food. The saber that has the shredded chicken chunks in it. So they really enjoy that. It seems to keep them good and healthy. They grow quick on it. And it's a well-balanced food for them, and uh, they don't seem to have any issues at all. So we highly recommend this, and you can switch over to the adult dog food uh, when they get a little older, and then there's no there's no conflict there as far as their diet and having dietary issues or allergies or things like that. So we highly recommend Purina products. As you see, we've been instituted the crate. We placed the crate in their environment now so they're sleeping in a crate all night long and they're going in there to rest. They're spending time in there. They play inside the crate and that way they uh, they get used to it. So if ever they have to stay in there when, when uh, no one's home they're not uncomfortable with it. They're not scared of it. So it really is an extra ex excellent provision. We've also put the paper down by the door and Puppies walk over there, and uh, several of them are already using it to go to the bathroom. So it makes cleanup a little easier, too, when they're out there playing and they go on the paper. Puppies play with everything you put into their environment, so you got to be careful. I put my GoPro in there, and uh, they couldn't stay away from it. They were all over the thing, so... Everyone here loves the camera. Mm, they do. Why do, you, why do you like the camera so much? Because you guys give them a bunch of GoPros and wear them on their head. Here, <laughs> running around, filming each other. I don't have to do anything. I can just sit back and let them go. No, they're Yeah. If you want to keep up with JC's puppies and how they're growing or other litters that we have coming up, we have several that are going to be born in the near future. Hit the subscribe button and also hit that notification button. 
so that uh, you can keep up to date with the latest that's going on around here because there's certainly a lot going on. These guys grow quick and I hate to see you miss anything of all these wonderful uh, puppies. Thank you for watching. We truly appreciate all your, uh, your viewing time. You know when it's cold outside, there's no better way to spend your time than watching these high energy puppies run around and play and tire themselves out. And it's a good way for them to get socialized together. Also, Carol likes to get in their pens and handle them. You notice she has the one that's upside down there in her hands. It's teaching it to be submissive. And that's very important in socializing a puppy to let them know that you're in charge. And you don't want your Westie to think that he has the upper hand. So we always say Train your Westie, and don't let your Westie train you, and you'll both be happy. We wish everyone watching a great day.